July 13th, 2020, we released a video. Leak! Milwaukee M12 fuel hatchet mini saw revealed. We shared everything we knew about that mini saw, that versatile little hatchet for pruning and cutting. But now, two months later, we finally have our hands on it. We're gonna share all the specifications. We have some tips and tricks that are very important. This is a mini chainsaw. With that comes some dangerous situations when used improperly. And it's all coming right up. After this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction, head on over to our merch store where you can get hats, tech shirts, t-shirts, hoodies. For those of you that have been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Vince. We're gonna have a great video, a great time. I love working in the guard. I got a little bit of a green thumb. I am not a landscaper, arborist, but I do have trees, brush, and property that I maintain as a DIYer. So outdoor power equipment comes in very handy for me. I like the idea of having this little pruner, this hatchet, so I don't have to lug around a full-size gas power chainsaw. I just, I just like it. Sometimes loppers won't get the job done. This seems very versatile. You'll see here that this is an M12 powered tool. This is a fuel tool though, so it should be very powerful. It says unmasked control and access power to cut three inch hardwoods. So up to three inch round hardwoods, up to 120 of those cuts per charge. This is a kit, its product number is 2527-21. You can use any M12 battery. I would suggest the larger amp hour. This kit comes with a four amp hour battery. Also included in this kit is their terrible M12 charger. Why is it terrible? I've expressed it in multiple, multiple videos. Milwaukee's not listening to me, okay? You all seem to agree. Leave it down in the comments section below. Why do you think Milwaukee's M12 charger is just terrible? Why? Let's go over the specifications. We have them here. RPM, 2,650. Chain speed, five milliseconds. <whistles> Bar length, six inches. Chain gauge, 0 0.043. Chain patch. 3.8 low profile. The trigger is variable speed. Length is 18.3 inches. Weight is 4.8 pounds. We will confirm all that. I've been waiting for this. We leaked this first to the internet. Kind of like last Black Friday, we were the entity on the internet. We got our hands through our community, the very cool gang. We got our hands on the Home Depot circular first for Black Friday. It's very secretive. We scored it. It was funny, we did a live stream at like midnight on a Saturday night prior to Black Friday. And then like other people on the internet went as far as to black out because my face was on the circular because it was picture in picture, right? The live stream, my face, people blacked it out and then like did videos with our papers they didn't even like give us credit for it. It was like unbelievable. We have that charger that I don't love. Look at this, you can win. Look at this. Did you know this? You can win a combination kit, 10 pieces, one winner per month. Or you can get a t-shirt from Milwaukee Tool, 850 winners per month. Second out of the box is the instructions, which are gonna pay, play a vital role in using this tool correctly. Here is the four amp hour battery. This does look somewhat different than other four amp hour batteries that come with fuel tools. Maybe it's because of the style of tool? Uh, psych, it's, it's the same four amp hour battery. All right, finally, we have the saw. Here it is. Look at this. That is cute. Look at it. Oh my God, it's so adorable. So, number one, very important. Do not get the tool, pop the battery on, and then go to town. Just, you know, use it. I mean, you could use the tool. Here's the deal. This is a legitimate chainsaw. That means that if you run this tool without bar and chain oil, you will 
wear out your bar and chain quickly. Hopefully, you do not wear it out to the point where you need to replace your bar. But it says here, must fill with bar and chain oil before use. When filled, hold trigger for 30 seconds before cutting. Very important. Here's the other thing. With a real chainsaw, you are not going to want to hit the dirt at all. No dirt. Be very mindful. We're going to be cutting through wood. You don't want to get down too low to where you're hitting the dirt. Anyone that's run the chainsaw and has hit the dirt, let us know what happens. When you fill this with bar and chain oil, you're gonna to wanna to use a good brand. We have some here. We're gonna undo the cap here. This is, this is a feature found on a lot of full-size chainsaws. The cap has a tether, so you're not gonna lose this cap. Here's the deal with this. We have a chamber indicator of it should pretty much tell us how much bar and chain oil is in here now i will tell you this much the gauge for bar and chain oil to be refilled for me i was taught when i was younger that every time you fill the gasoline you top off bar and chain oil and generally you'll only run through about half your bar and chain oil every time you need to refill your gas, your fuel in a gas operated saw. I'm kind of curious how much bar and chain oil will be left when we go through all four amps on this battery. Okay, so we can see it's full. 30 seconds. One, two, three. A few moments later. 29, 30. The nation of lubrication. I do like that Milwaukee has included a wrench here to make your adjustments. And we could do we could do this with the cover on as well. I really wanted to to take a look at the at the oiler. Here, here's the oiler here. So we do have flow. It just didn't seem to be lubricating the chain. We could give it more than the 30 seconds. If you did need to replace your chain, it would be as simple as pulling it off your bar, okay? You can, you can, leave, you can leave the bar in place if you wanted to, to put your chain on. All you do is you throw your, your chain on your bar. There we go. There we go. Now that was simple. When it comes to chainsaws, my opinion, you can never have too much oil, but over oil will cause clogs as well. So let's pop this back on, okay? Let's make sure we have just the right amount of slack. Ah, it's a little tight. But as the saw heats up and the chain heats up, it will it it could loosen up as well. Boom. Let's put our wrench back in here. You might need this during operation. If you're using the saw, it becomes hot over time that chain could loosen up and it becomes too loose, you could throw your chain. Everything that you would pay attention to when operating a full-size chainsaw applies to this hatchet as well. I know it looks cute, but very important. Now that we're ready to go, let's give you a true weight because nobody's gonna run their hatchet dry. Hatchet with its bar and chain oil and a fully charged four amp hour battery weighs four pounds 15.7 ounces. No one's gonna run their saw with the scabbard on. Let's take the scabbard off. With the scabbard on, we're looking at four pounds, 13.9 ounces. Let's go cut some wood. It has a nice, a nice, sharp blade. Let's 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 try something a little bit bigger. I'm getting a little stolen. Can't you can't force it. I'm trying to walk it through. And it does a nice job.
Are you are you seeing all that? Yeah. I mean, it does a pretty nice job. I mean, that's probably it's not quite. It's probably like two and a half, around two and a quarter inches. This is probably a true a true three inch round. A little stalling. I mean, well, here's the deal. You're not gonna force it through. The tool will time out, but if you have a nice sharp chain, you have oil in your tank, it, it, will, it will trim. I mean, this is, this is a strong three inches here. I mean, it makes it through. It's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna win any speed races, but the reality is it's, it's a lightweight, convenient way to cut smaller brush. I think Milwaukee has a winner here. I think this is a strong seven. I think it was thought out, nah, you know, maybe it's an eight. I think it's thought out well. Uh, I'm not seeing any drawbacks initially, other than it's a little underpowered, but the reality is to be compact and lightweight, you know, I think that uh, they made, made a, a good choice going with the M12. If they went M18 and intended it to be used with maybe the three amp HO battery, hanging off of it. That would have been lightweight as well, but then people would have been putting larger batteries on here. It would have been unwieldy. I think this feels nice. It's balanced. It's wieldable. I, I like it. It's, it's probably a, a seven, maybe eight for what its intention is. What it's intended to do, I think they planned it out well. They did a good job. And I feel like when the tool companies do a good job of listening to you and producing the tools that you've requested, like this one right here, the hatchet. Smash the like button. Also, leave it down in the comment section below. What do you think of the hatchet? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you have it already? Did you get it before we did? Have you broken it already? What do you think about it being based on the M12 platform? Do you wish it was on the M18 platform? We want to know. Leave it all below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.